Chief Meteorologist David Carnes back with a check of the weather. David, up at that high altitude at the, Disco the Creative Discovery Museum. It may have been even a little colder up there, huh? I would say so. Uh, probably a few degrees even colder <laughs> than at the surface. I am afraid of heights, but I would still love to go see that exhibit. It's pretty cool. Creative Discovery doing it right. Doing it uh, right. Spring season. Well, here we go. It is uh, officially spring now. We've passed the 524 mark, so we are in spring. Uh, of course, it's a very transitional season. Uh, March and April, boy, we get a little bit of everything. We get the cold, the hot, the rain, the storms. We're going to have some of that all week long. Heading into the Friday night, we'll get some of the storms moving through. This is also the peak uh, season for severe weather, so it's right about now that we really start watching the storms moving through uh, for signs of severity. So we'll keep an eye on that. And of course, if you're an allergy sufferer, you don't need me to tell you, peak tree pollen season as well. Uh, another freeze tonight. It's going to feel like winter one more night and then we will see warming through the week, even getting up to 80 degrees later in the week. And then we'll have rain and storms moving through Friday night into early Saturday morning. Low 50s up and down the valley, 49 right now in Altamont. High pressure keeping us nice and comfortable. Lots of clear skies, but as that high drifts eastward, that will allow us a little bit of cloud cover to move in tomorrow afternoon. And notice the wind shifting coming out of the south. That means that even though we'll have a freezing start tomorrow, morning in the afternoon it's going to feel pretty good. We'll be in the low 60s, about 10 degrees warmer than where we are right now. Well, let's move on into Wednesday. It's going to be fairly mild, relatively speaking, on Wednesday morning. We'll see temperatures in the 40s, so rain showers for Wednesday morning might see a few of those lingering into the afternoon and then that'll clear out on Wednesday night. Uh, by Thursday, it's just going to be a beautiful day. About 50 in the morning will be in the upper 70s near 80 on Thursday afternoon and then Friday will hit a high of 80 degrees. So about 80 degrees Thursday and Friday ahead of the next front. The next front is not probably not going to bring us much in the way of rain until overnight Friday into early Saturday morning and might see a sprinkle or two of a remnant shower Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. But the bulk of the rain is going to move through while most of you are sleeping right now. The uh, severe weather doesn't look very likely with that system. Maybe some gusty winds and that'll be about it. Most of Saturday, maybe a sprinkle or two. Sunday looks great. Low 70s, partly cloudy skies. Freezing temps tonight. We'll have some clouds, but overall mid to upper 20s, right around 30 in Chattanooga, 31 Scottsboro. And then tomorrow, cool and uh, sunny in the morning, but the afternoon clouds breezy in the afternoon, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds and 63 for the high, we are loving that low 60s and it gets even warmer as we move on through the week. Storm alert 7 day forecast gets us to 66 with a chance of showers on Wednesday near 80 Thursday and Friday. We might see a sprinkle or two late in the day Friday, but the bulk of the rain that we get and that 80% is for the overnight hours into Saturday morning and then Saturday afternoon. We probably drop it back down to a 20% chance 71 the high 74 on Sunday 72 Monday. That feels more like spring.